Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Thorncraft for completion and just before this episode I was so scared for, for this series for a while. Um, I had this really weird bug. Basically I logged on and because I've reverted back to 164 um, as, as we can see there with my frame rate dropping really lowly. Lowly? Low. Um, yeah I dropped, I went on to 164 from 179 and logged into my world and I wanted to have a look at my Thormanomicon. So I looked in here and I, I like scrolled over a couple of things such as the arcane lamp and you see here it needs uh, Lux, that one which I can't remember, Census I think it is and the other one which I can't remember. Yeah those are all shown as being uh, question marks as if I hadn't had the aspect in my sort of thing. So I double checked and I went over it, I went down here and went, hmm, I seem to have these aspects, I seem to have like glowstone, uh, all these, blah blah blah. And um, yeah, I had all those, so I was like, oh yeah, this is fine then, it might just be a bug. Then I went to my uh, to my research table here, looked in here, and I had literally only the uh, six primal aspects. and. Oh god, I went on like a 20 minute research spree about it, and I thought, hmm, if I log back in, maybe it'll fix it, and luckily it did. I am so glad for that, but it did fix it, I'm happy. And it's night. Let me just sleep. So, you may have noticed from that sign there, and I will show you in a second, there is a sign next to one at the portal, and that sign is what I talked about last time. Um... The Never Fortress. These are the coordinates of the Never Fortress. Uh, just so I have them near, because I don't want to keep them in a notepad, because I would probably uh, forget the note, forget like where I'd save the actual like text document and stuff like that. So it's it's here, it's it's there, and we also have our focus pouch. So our focus pouch is currently holding. I think it can hold 18 in total, um, but it's holding two of ours currently. So if we press F, holding our fire aspect. Oh, sorry, fire focus and our shock focus. And I found out if you click on it, it actually bugs out a bit more like that. And I also recently found out doing that, shifting and pressing F does take it off, which was quite a nice thing to learn. So that's good. Also, it's very good for getting food, this. Um, so now what I really need to do is, um, this episode, is watch out for creepers. <laughs> Yeah, the f the fire is like really potent. Like, it goes really far away. I think I can hit him from here. There we go. Like, really far away. Dropping your gunpowder. I think shock. Yeah, shock. If I remember correctly, go as far. And also makes them shoot supercharged. So it's not really a good idea. Get the sound lag here. Uh, yeah, so I'm I'm having really bad luck today. Uh, first that aspect thing, and now this, about, like, really bad lag. I've also had, like, really bad internet today. I don't know why, but my internet is just doing poorly today. Like, I tried getting on the Communimod server, as usual, and, um, I have, like, a one-bar connection to it. Also, I bred a load of cows by, by last time, so I've got a few cows, and they're all bugged out. And it's really annoying trying to get them with fire, I've noticed, because you burn all the little ones as well, so it's a pain. But, um, like, I've got, like, a one-bar connection, and I'm getting, like, severe block lag, like, in the sake of, like, I destroyed a block, and it took about, like, 30 seconds, well, it broke, then it broke one second, then fixed itself, like, back to where it was, so as if I hadn't broken it. Then dropped about 10 seconds later, and then it, I'm actually not going to absorb that because I've heard somewhere that if you do absorb all of your thing, it has a chance of not regenerating. So I'm not going to absorb all of it, I just won't use any of the things. So, what we need to actually do is we need to take some of these nodes and we actually need to uh, use what we got last time, which was what did I get? Uh, node in a jar, and we need to move those at some point. But yeah, like, I was getting severe block lag and, like, falling through the world, and. Uh, 
At least I know I'm not the only one that's happened to, to I, I'm not like a one-off or a three-off, considering it happened to me three times. But the first time I died, being like really confused, thinking I'd just pop up. Second time I died just because I couldn't do anything. Third time, I didn't actually die in the void. I died at like Y3, because I had my staff of stuff traveling, luckily, at pretty high charge. I just kept on spamming, like shift and uh, right clicking and teleporting myself up to bedrock and like I, I teleported myself through the bedrock because it was only about one layer or two layers or something like that I can't remember and uh, <laughs> into a bl into a pool of lava so I had to swim up through the lava luckily I had my uh, my nano suit on and I had to like go up in the lava break a block or break a couple of blocks and then I had to um, like I was just waiting and I was dying because I didn't have a bottle of water. Bottle of water? Uh, the, 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 the bucket of water on me. Also, focus pouch by the way. Looks like this. Looks really nice. There's no texture currently, or at least in this version of the texture pack I'm using for the actual thing. Much like the wand, but not too much of a worry. Now, we can go with those node in, node in jars, but I do think we'll wait until we find some more nodes first. Um, because those three, as it said, it can sort of damage them, and I don't want to damage the only three nodes we know of. Uh, well, I think there's actually four I know of currently. Um, actually, that's a point. I just want to double check, because we got a silverwood tree outside, right? And if I'm correct, somewhere on this silverwood tree... Not one of these blocks, apparently. Should be like the aura node part of it. Aura node? Just node. The node part of it. Which means we can uh, get V from it. And also scan it, I think. For a nice amount of things. Uh, or aspects. But yeah, um, I think what we'll move on to is uh, kind of way away from this. Because we don't need a deconstruction table. Uh, research mastery isn't too much of a worry. I don't think we can do that some other time. That one is just duplicating uh, research. We're going to get it, as I said, but um, we're not going to be able to use it because we're not on a server. So we're going to move into the actual thaumaturgy bit again. Uh, we obviously have Wand of Shock and um, Flame and the Focus Patch. All this stuff. We don't really need excavation that much. I'm not going to use it too much. Equal Trade is going to be really useful in some ways. I've been using it a lot so far on a uh, community mod. And frost, not too much. I don't. I think frost, frost can destroy blocks, and also I think slows down the enemy, uh, which is useful. Gold wand caps is something we're gonna need as well. We also, at some point, need to set up a gold farm, which would be really fun, and uh, gonna take a lot of obsidian. But we're gonna have to do that at some point because we're gonna need a lot of gold. Hopefully, and or oh, we're gonna need a lot of gold. Hopefully, we can get a lot. Considering we've got alchemy, though. Um, once we've got these, we can transmute metals and uh, purify metals, which will be useful. Um, so we've got gold one caps and great wood one things. We need to get that one, and then we're going to move on to that one. I really want that one, though. Um, I don't know what the missing research is, though. So we're going to just sort of go through sort of all these things that we can and just hope we find some research at some point or some clues or uh, prior research. Actually, I'm going to quickly look up... Um, Thorncraft for because I need to I want to know what it is because I really want it because um currently this wand having this uh, iron capped greatwood wand doesn't seem to be using the non-absorb thing I was on about like it doesn't take up all of it it seems to actually be doing um, everything I don't want it to do so. Um, Wand core. So we got obsidian, uh, great wood, wand core, bone, wand core, obsidian, reed, blaze, icy quartz, silver wood. Um, silver wood, I'm going to assume, assume is, um, yes, yeah, it's top tier wand core. Whereas all these other ones seem to be um, alternatives that seem to give, like, uh, probably. The discounts on different aspects. So the bone one, for example, is um, uh, it says one core alternative Padicio, uh, and the obsidian is Terra 
Reed is Air, Blaze is Ignis, obviously, Icy is Aqua, and Quartz is Ordo. So what we're gonna need is we're gonna need Greatwood Wand Core, at which we've already obviously got, and Infusion. Um, so I don't know where Infusion actually comes under. Hopefully we can find it, but I need to. I want to kind of find it. Uh, golems we are going to be working with at some point. I do. Well, I do plan to work with them at least um, in some ways. But not having other mob, uh, like other mods, with this can make it a bit more difficult than I would hope. Um, to be honest, that's probably where we need to get to infusion because we want to make an infusion altar, and I assume that is within either thaumaturgy. Uh, I'm assuming it's within thaumaturgy, or it's not in basic information. I know that much. Um, not sure. Uh, just double checking. Da -da -da. It is it under artifice then? It might be after the arcane ear, possibly. Um, actually, speaking of which, I was gonna. I have a plan, and that's gonna be, eventually be. I want to make a wood farm, or a tree farm, more, more precisely. And obviously, to do that, we're gonna have to somehow automate it. And obviously, by doing that, we're gonna need golems. However, we're also gonna want to be able to speed up the process of a tree growing. Um, and uh, there are these things after the arcane lamps called the lamps of growth. I don't know what the other ones are. I haven't really uh, looked into them too much. But the lamps of growth are quite good because they can um, they can make it so you know things grow quicker. Also, eventually, we're gonna try and get some mana beans, and then that can also help um, increase those. Mana beans are good because we can use it in. Um, whatever that, not whatever that thing is, uh, alchemy, whatever that thing is, uh, I can't remember what it's called, and we can use that. So we're going to actually quickly get Alimentium because it's quite useful, and we're getting gun a bit of gunpowder, and it's also quite useful to make, plus I want to learn what that thing's called. So, um, Potentia is made with Ignis, obviously, so we're going to go there. And let's just go Potentia down there. Just quick, quick little research. Don't have to worry too much about this stuff. Um, oh, actually, it's not. Ah, this is even better because we're going to need charcoal, obviously. Uh, or we're going to get charcoal and we're going to need it to make this stuff, which is brilliant. So, this substance throws with fiery energy and is more than eager to release the energy at the slightest bump. It may be unstable, but it will probably make a good source of fuel, which is also another thing. Uh, it's possible, it's po probably not a good idea to throw it against a solid surface unless you enjoy explosion. So it can be used as an explosive, or it can be used as a fuel. Um, Essential distillation, that's what it is. Gunpowder. Gunpowder is quite good because it means we don't have to go after creepers as much, but they seem to be um, wanting to spawn around here pretty often, so we don't have to worry too much. Um, Infernal Furnace, that is probably just a really good idea in general because it doesn't need a fuel. Um, I think it fuels itself like self-sufficient, either that or it draws in nearby V. Um, we're going to need to make a room for it. it. Oh, we could make it past that and like have a room, like a nethery room, because it is pretty much entirely nether, uh, nether brick and obsidian, so it's not too bad to think about. Um, so Infernal Furnace, the problem is getting behind there, I don't think you can... Oh, you can, that's good. Let's just... Let's do that, so we can just have this little space to go back here if we want to. Actually, let's build it fully up. I like the idea of having this like this. Um, let's go. Uh, we do want to get the Thormium Bossed um, thing at some point, so I think that's the Thormium one. Let's go check. This is not very um, constructed, but when is it ever in the end? Um, Ordo Metallum, that also includes Ordo, so we just need something. Actually, let's check what you include. Um, uh, 
Humanus. So Humanus is uh, what do you all say? Fames. And Famus is vacuous, and that one I can't remember. I can't remember hardly any of them. Uh, what's vacuous include? Pedicio. Um, right. We're gonna go with Famus because we've got a bit of it. Then what's that made of? We're gonna have to go with I think uh, vacuous because air and auto is very. I think if I remember correctly, air and auto do go together at some point, like maybe further back to be honest. Pretty sure they make something. Pretty sure. I'm hoping now. Or is it air plus something that is made of... Does it not... huh. Auto and Pedicio, maybe? Not sure. That's Aquant. Maybe it might have been better idea to go t Aqua and Terra, to be honest. Because Aqua and Auto, is that a thing? If not, uh, we can work with it in some way, I'm sure. Aqua and Auto. Oh crap, um, <laughs> what am I doing? I'm an idiot. Right, let's drag you over there. You should be finished, and we've got one left of that. Uh, what was it again? Gold capped ones. Capping, capping things off with style. So we do have missing research. It's probably infusion, as the other one is as well, because infusion seems to be... We need an infusion altar pretty quickly. Um, I don't... I'm not sure whether it will be an artifice is the only thing, unless it's under arcane stone, but I'm pretty sure these guys are not anything to do with it. Um, Infernal Furnace, let's go and check that. It's going to include Ignis. I can guarantee it's Ignis. Ignis. I still haven't used this yet, I've just been using my bow recently. It's like, And my wand. My wand's been very useful. Bye. <laughs> uh, so yeah, let's just cut that off so we don't have to worry about it. I thought I heard something. And oh, I did. Um, Fabrico, I don't think we've ever worked with Fabrico actually, which is, is new. Uh, I can't even find it on here, it's probably just being covered up by some Fabrico. We're not using it too much, probably for obvious reasons considering <laughs> we've got a lot of it, but we've just not been using it. So, we might as well go with the whole, well, that goes Lux, that goes to Air, right? So, let's go Lux there, Ignis there, uh, Metal, no, uh, sorry, what is, what is it, Saxon. Ah, <sighs> did Terra and Saxon ever work together? Sorry, Terra and... Ignis have worked together. I'm pretty sure that'll be pretty counterintuitive. Maybe Air and Terra do. I'd have thought Air and Terra would. Uh, you can go for a very long way. You can go from Terra to that, to that, to that, to Air. Um, do we want to take that path though is the question. So Saxon would go there. Let's try it at least. We've got really a lot of stuff to work, not care about. Also the air can go there because we don't have to worry too much about making Lux and air again. Oh really? Uh, what am I trying? Oh, for God's sake. Um, missing a Terra. It's kind of like vital. Um... Aqua and Air work, ever work together? Ever? Ever? Uh, words today are not my thing. Or have I already looked for this one? No, I was looking for... Sorry, Air and Aqua. Motus. Thank God for Motus. 
now Fabrico. Oh, I've left Fabrico with a mess to clear up, haven't I? Um, so Fabrico can go into Humanus. Humanus can go into Cognito, and then it can go there. So Cognito, Human, Humanus. There we go. <laughs> Took long enough, but there we go. Um, Infernal Furnace, Arcane Bellows. And don't know about arcane bellows. I have to look into them. I've never actually used them before. So uh, you can by harnessing raw ignis within the furnace, craft from obsidian and netherite, you'll create a highly efficient and fuel-free furnace. So efficient, in fact, that it occasionally produce bonus materials in form of nuggets or other things. So we don't have to worry too much about it. While it is essentially free, it's also very slow unless the furnace gets a new supply every. Uh, a new supply of Ignis Essential every now and again. This can be done by replacing a jar of Ignis Essential within line of sight of the front of the furnace, somewhere within 10 blocks. Uh, luckily, a little Essential goes a long way, which is good. We'll have to look into that in a second. Okay, sorry, I had to go for a second there, but let's have a look at the next page. It should also be noted that occasionally, bit uh, uh, that the occasional bit of flux escapes into the environment. Items. To, you wish the smelt needs to be dropped in the top of the furnace and will spit out of the front. So, obviously that's going to have to be a bit more of a manual process than if we had any other ones such as Billcraft. Um, if we had Billcraft we could build pipes into it, but, you know, not too much of a worry about that. Are we going to... Oh, it's a baby zombie! Oh, look at you! I wonder if I can get him through the wall. I'm low on Ignis, but... Alright. So, I think we'll probably leave it at that for this episode, really. We've gone... Not exactly too far, but we've... You know... We've got a bit of research and we've got to get that room sorted. So, if I can, I'm probably going to get that room sorted uh, for next episode. It might not be finished by then. And I'm going to have to look into... Uh, mana beans, because I am not sure whether or not mana beans can actually be um, planted outside of a magical forest, and if so, I need to find a magical forest one to find them anyway. And, uh, well, I need to find a magical forest to get them anyway, but if it's really, really far away, it's really not preferred. Um, so I am wondering, we do. There, there might be a way of making somewhere a magical forest. Actually, a magical forest is over there, isn't it? Let me double check. But I um, I think there is a way of making a chunk or an area actually a magical forest. The reason I think this is because um, the spawn of Communimod, uh, you may have seen it when I actually did the video on it, uh, as far as I can remember, didn't used to be a magical forest, except now that chunk around there is a magical forest. Is there a... Oh no, it's the silver wood that was over here. Um, so I'm not too sure. Let's double check on here. Are we in a magical forest? Yes, we are. So let's have a quick, quick search for that. And um, we may have to just make it possibly that we have to build uh, our farm around here and have to manually pick up everything. Um, we're going to try and automate it as much as we can. Oh, there's one over there, which is good. I forgot I had the goggles of revealing on. There's another one over there, that's even better. We're going to have to try and move these guys, depending on how good they are. But, um, yeah. We're, we're going to... Let's just get some Pedicio. But, as I was saying, we need to find some of that stuff first, and if we can convert it, uh, convert an area into a magical forest, that'll be brilliant. But if not, we'll just have to come back here semi-regularly uh, to get what the golems will have collected, or hopefully will have collected. Um, I can't see any mana beans around. That's a big tree. should chop that down. Also, I do need to move on to see whether or not we can actually get... I think it will be in Thaumaturgy. Um, like, stuff like Axe of the Stream and stuff like that. Uh, it may just be only, like, pickups you can get it from, but, you know, depending on... How that is. I can't see any mana beans. Maybe they didn't spawn because of the version this was in. Because this was in 4.0 and they 
possibly add in 4.1. I haven't checked the change log too in depth to see that. So, yeah, I'm going to end off this episode here. I'm going to quickly look at the change log for um, Thongra 4.1 compared to 4.0 uh, and see if we're going to have to go out and collect some mana beans very far away and see if there is any way of converting an area into um, into a magical forest. If not, we'll just use this one. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And um, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.